Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Warship Splits with Terry. Today I have a slightly different video for you because uh, this was a battle that I recorded when I was in uh, when I was testing the Ragnar, the uh, tier 10 Swedish scout cruiser. And uh, so obviously you see me here in the battle, but uh, have a look on the enemy team uh, at the enemy Vermont, uh, Man of Fire. I don't know exactly what the rest of it is, but um, he actually approached me afterwards and said, hey, you know what, I, I have the battle recorded as well. How about um, making a video from both perspectives? So I said, That's a, that sounds like a great idea. If you can send it to me, I'll make sure to include it. So I, I'll leave a link to in the description to his own YouTube channel if you want to check out the complete battle uh, from, from the Vermont's point of view. But uh, we are in... Uh, on Hourglass in a base capture. And uh, as I said, up against Vermont, Colombo, Ohio, a Zao, a Worcester, a Daring, and a Gearing. Now the Ragnar is um, a scout cruiser. <laughs> it doesn't have any torpedoes, but is relatively sturdy. And uh, it's really interesting to see what the impact is. Uh, I did take a bunch of hits here, but the Ragnar's got quite the, the hit points to deal with. And you can't sit at El Ragnar because it's a destroyer. So on the onset here, I am somewhat spawning in the middle, and um, I'm gonna go around and see what, how I can make myself useful, probably going down the right flank. Now, Ragnar does not get the Nocarius, so I don't need the Def AA. Uh, she, she only gets the kind of emergency engine boost things, which don't last for a very long time. And the Ragnar is not a particularly fast ship, so, but you can re you, have a f you have a fair few charges and you can use them quite a bit. So I'm gonna make my way over uh, over to the right flank, go around the islands and see what we can not, what we can spot ourselves. I've got a small land here with me, so uh, there is some synergy in terms of fire flooding. As one of the things that's really good about the Ragnar is the uh, is the high, it's the HE because she's she's got a very good fire chance of I think seven percent on these hundred fifties and a pretty fast reload. And as you can see, twenty seven thousand hit points, which for a destroyer, well, it is a scout cruiser. Let's be honest, is is a decent amount. Small land. Uh, Risky goes inside. I'm not actually on a concealment build, so that's why I'm going around the outside. First customer, the Zhao. Hello, Mr. Zhao. Let's see if I can get myself behind the island and uh, actually go unspotted unless somebody else is poking around and see if we can set some fires on the Zhao. So th that Zhao has got himself spotted, uh, decided to go through the middle. He's going to run into all those torpedoes and maybe the gearing as well. Uh, I'm undetected because I'm sitting behind the island and no one's coming down the flank just yet. <laughs> and uh, the small one has just, uh, has just had a field day here. <laughs> has been able to smoke up, avoid this, and yeah, the Zaos just died to the Hargomo torpedoes. So um, that was a pretty bad start for, for the enemy team. Now let's switch over to the Vermont's perspective. And here we have uh, Man of Fire starting out doing, well, Vermont things, which is... In the Vermont you sort of have to... So you, so you have to have what somebody, I think, in the comments once described as firing discipline. And I really like that description because because the uh, you have to you, you don't have too many salvos, but they hit really hard, which also means you have to make sure you're not wasting them. So uh, he's put, taking sort of a backseat or back row firing position, which is a good position to be in in Vermont, especially with three enemy destroyers and uh, uh, let, let the friendly team do the scoutery. So the Zhao, as we know, and the Gearing both go out. Uh, I would have expected the Zhao to go down the left flank, but he isn't. So now the first uh, battleship on our side is spotted, and uh, it takes a quick look, takes a quick peek at the team list. There is uh, there are some destroyers, but uh, he's, he spotted me over there. But I'm going unspotted behind the island, and. Um, he might he I'm, he might give it a try, but I don't think. Nope, I'm unspotted. I'm behind the island. Uh, the small one has laid the smoke, so he's gonna he's gonna go for the for the battleship. But as you can see, the enemy team, or well, in this case, the friendly team, has completely neglected the left flank. So the enemy Vermont is now starting to take fire, and yep. <laughs> 22,000 points of damage, not even a citadel. That's Vermont for you. It takes a while to reload, but uh, if you give it an opportunity to do that, then yes, by all means. So the positioning here is good, actually. But uh, as we've seen, the Zhao has already died. So back on my side, 
I am just observing uh, observing that gearing over there, and that gearing has taken some smaller torpedoes. He's now on fire, and uh, I'm still unspotted. Which uh, now now I'm spotted, but um, that's probably gearing, uh, or something is over there. So uh, the small end points out there's something over there, and yes, he's right. And that looks like a Vermont to me. So let's see if we can get, yeah, there he is. Let's see if we can get ourselves behind an island again, doing the same thing once more. If we can get unspotted, because if that flank is, yeah, there we are, unspotted. If that flank is, is, is unsupported, and I just poked out a little bit too far because uh, acceleration. If that flank's unsupported, then, um, then you're not going to be spotted. So I set the Vermont on fire. Vermont returns fire. And I'm just going to try and dodge this because it is armor piercing. It does hurt a little bit, but mostly he's been over penetrating. And I have four heals on this thing. So he's now on double fire, which he damaclons, uh, just before the small end torpedoes come in. And there's the gearing again. So we are going to, we're going to be changing tack. And uh, we're going to be engaging that gearing over there because I have a radar. And I'm, I can't remember if small end has radar, but I'm going to switch to the armor piercing. I've got 150mm AP and see where that gearing is going. If he wants to come out and commit suicide by Ragnar. Meanwhile, uh, Man of Fire is still taking a second shot at the, the enemy Vermont over there after that sl that slapping that he's been delivering on the first one, and uh, that wasn't that wasn't quite as good, but still still did a fair amount of damage. But now he's obviously seen me. Hello, and <laughs> he's like, "Oh no, a YouTuber! <laughs> I'm not being set on fire!" Uh, so he's he's calling on his team to say, "Look, to target this guy over there." Uh, <laughs> Make sure he goes away. Careful, uh, our flank is being overrun. So he, he gets his he gets his salvo out um, at my Ragnar, and we'll see what that does. Uh, there were actually a couple of full penetrations there, seven hits. That wasn't bad. That was almost ten thousand points of damage. The problem is, uh, I am now unspotted. He's damaconing, and he is in full reverse. The gearing is trying to do something. But he is now being HE spammed by the Ragnar and by the Smallland, so he has to back off. There is a Wooster, I believe, on the on, on his team, and I, I'm I I'm kind of thinking that he's probably swearing, <laughs> having some some choice words for that Wooster at this point, because all the destroyers are on the left flank, and the Wooster is all the way on the other side of the map, <laughs> so he is still taking point, uh, getting some shots out at the Harugumo, and uh, saying, "Look, low health target, come on, get it," and there I am again, he spamming him from behind an island. Because I, at this point, um, have dealt with the gearing <laughs> and got back to my HE. Uh, once again, these yes, these shots hurt. The thing is, the Ragnar is a destroyer. You can't citadel it. Uh, there come the there come the torpedoes. Uh, quite harmless. You can't citadel it. So even though, even if you can do full penetrations from a Vermont's uh, main guns, uh, yes, you're going to do what you're going to do a couple of t uh, thousand points of damage. But uh, I've got four heals, <laughs> and you can't citadel me. You can't one shot this thing easily. So uh, I, I am, well, once again behind an island and HE spamming the Vermont. <laughs> and, uh, uh, Vermont's now backing off. There comes an Ohio. So uh, he's now on fire again. Now we're going to switch fire to the Ohio. And uh, because he's, he's just presenting a, a nicer target. And the Ohio actually has got the HE loaded. So since I was sitting still, he is blind firing. And that hurt, actually. Ouch. <laughs> Uh, the Ohio has been paying attention, so I do. I cannot just sit still because the Ohio has learned how to blind fire. But the Ohio is now also on fire, and we can heal back a little bit of that again. Get myself uh, in, a, in a slightly better position. Fortunately, now I'm spotted by the Vermont, which has been well is being he spammed by me, as we know, just before I've switched fire to the Ohio, and he doesn't have any other targets. So unfortunately for him, he does need to waste his shots on destroyers. Well, the Harugumo is gonna detect it. So, um, and, and we are all undetected. So he's literally got nobody to shoot at at this point. And he's on fire again, which must just be utterly frustrating. And uh, the, the Wooster comes back, but uh, the, fl the flank is now completely being rushed after the early suicide of the Takao. And the Gearing couldn't hold it all by himself. He has avoided the small ants torpedoes. And um, I think at this point, the Ohio had been uh, smacking me quite a bit. So given that he doesn't really have anything to shoot at, and like I said, firing discipline, he chooses to uh, pick the Kremlin and uh, send out a shot that way. And there I am after being somewhat slapped around by the Ohio. Let's see what that does against the, uh, against the Kremlin. Yeah, a decent amount of damage. 
But um, again, where's that Worcester going? Worcester, you're on full hit points. Where are you going? Oh no, the Worcester decided that, yes, there are two destroyers rushing the flank against two battleships that are very much not suited to deal with it, and he wants to burn on the Kremlin. And yeah, me, me and Smallland are, um, are just doing things. I'm burning the Ohio. Uh, I do want Indragnar to be stay at long range. Uh, Ohio is running out of hit points, so uh, that guy was dangerous because he knows how to use high explosive <laughs> and he knows how to blind fire. But uh, Smallland is now taking the Vermont, who is, well, obviously retreating under fire. I still want to get Permafires on that Ohio if I can. So uh, now let's see what we can do here. Uh, we'll be, I'll be pushing out in the open at this point. Uh, and uh, I have recovered a little bit of health, and I think the Vermont is busy, and the Ohio as well. There is a Worcester out there. So, uh, yep, and he's on full hit points, so I do have to be a little bit careful. But I'm just helping the small end with uh, doing damage against that poor Vermont. And, uh, yeah, if, I'm sorry about this. <laughs> uh, okay, Worcester's just been bitch lapped into the next map uh, by, I don't know what, one of our battleships probably. And now coming out to uh, take on the Harugumo, who probably didn't realize that the Worcester was paying attention. Smokes up in a panic. Yeah, against Worcester, that's not going to help. And the Vermont has actually taken down the Harugumo. But uh, that Worcester is now on fire and on extremely low hit points. So with a little bit more... Hey, cheese bum from my side. Yep, that's a dead Worcester. So yeah, Ohio is running low on hit points. Uh, Worcester was uh, trying to trying to kill our Kremlin, and I don't know if it was the Kremlin that was um, that was slapping him in reverse. But uh, good torpedo dodge there from the v Vermont, and yeah, there comes Harugumo, Ragnar, and Smoland. <laughs> and you're on fire. Of course, you're on fire. Oh, this must be so. This must be so frustrating. And you're in a Vermont. There's not really an awful lot you can do at this range. I would almost say the the HE would already have been a better choice. The problem is if you switch ammo in this thing, it takes forever to reload. So yeah, he's just being HE spammed at this point, and uh, yeah, the AP is just overpenning. But he um, he actually gets the Harugumo, uh, and yes, unfortunately that Worcester is calling out defend the base because their flank's been run, and the rest of my team is is, is defending at home. Yeah, and I'm taking out the Worcester. So uh, what are you gonna do, right? <laughs> That's not an awful lot. Uh, switch to the to the HE eventually maybe, but right now he's just dodging torpedoes and is trying to. Well, they're not going to win easily uh, because they are uh, they're two kills down, and he is trying to help uh, to help out with uh, with a potential potential base trade. But yeah, he really doesn't have a chance at this point. There's not an awful lot he can do. He has switched to high explosive. Is on perma fire on perma flood, and is just being spammed by Smallland and myself. So yeah, uh, not an awful lot he could do in the Vermont there really uh, because I meant. Uh, because you know, <laughs> you, you, your team abandons a flank, and uh, we've just been waiting for that. And Smallland and me have been have been having a great synergy here to, you know, cause as much cause as much uh, trigger as many Damocons as we could. And uh, yeah, at this point, I'm just really going in for the kill there. I have rec I'm back to up to 15,000 hit points, so um, like pretty much half health. So um, I figured I can sustain another AP salvo from the Vermont. That should be okay. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get in there and um, keep him in range, keep him keep him uh, keep him under under HE spam together with Smallland, and then we'll rack up some capture points as well, and uh, see see that we can rack up some damage here. And yeah, there, there's really not not we don't know where that destroyer is, and that hurt actually, and I was a little bit surprised by that shot, because as you know, but I didn't at the time, he actually had switched to the high explosive, so. I had put that down as as AP only Vermont, so he is he is targeting me here, and is uh, is on double fire, so he's gonna have to Damacon, but he's out of heals. He's waiting for the turn, and yep, that was not a bad one. Uh, six hits, <laughs> but still not enough because again Ragnar uh, is is pretty is pretty sturdy and can I, I'm just heal, healing it back up right away. And at this point, uh, yeah, he's just gonna die to small on torpedoes right here. Which, yeah, you, you, you did not have a chance, but that was a good shot with the HE, and I did not actually expect that. <laughs> I thought you would keep going, firing, uh, firing high explosive. But uh, uh, that, that was a fun, uh, a fun way to, a fun thing to observe, and it, it really goes to show of uh, how much of an, uh, of an irritant and how much of a counter these kind of scout cruisers, even though they don't have torpedoes, but these kind of scout cruisers can be, because you can't citadel them. 
And uh, I mean, these two battleships have done everything they could, the Ohio and the Vermont. And uh, I, I had to use three heals, but this thing's got so much hit points. And if it stays at max range and it's not, not easy to hit, there's really not an awful lot that you can do about it. So uh, well played, GG. And uh, I was actually surprised to come out at the top of the team here. I didn't even realize I was doing better. I thought the other ones were doing better here, especially that Smallland was playing really well. And uh, like a uh, good combo. Uh, the, the Ragnar is a really good synergy ship and a good combo. And I was drawing a lot of fire away as well from uh, from the friendly team. So uh, they haven't actually done all that much in terms of fire damage. I said five fires, but uh, yeah, apparently our Yamato was AFK, but the enemy Zao is kind of compensated for that. So yeah, a uh, huge thanks to Kenzin, who was uh, playing as Man of Fire here and uh, for for uh, sending me that recording and I could make a combined gameplay. So that, that was unplanned, but much welcome. Anyway, that's it for me today. Thanks everybody. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.